Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So I want to make a really short video. Uh, recently I've been a little bit busy, but I want to make a daily video. Also, there's a little bit of noise in the background, but I I guess I'll just keep this very, very short. I'm just going to be doing some summonings as well as some rebirths. Um, just really, really simple. I wanted to make a daily, daily video, but didn't have, like, I didn't really make anything new. I don't have any new toys to show off to you guys. Um, I probably will very, very soon. But for today, I'm just going to be pulling some from some eggs. I have, like, two light dark eggs. And there's one last thing I want to finish up before the end of the month, which is the um, the rebirth. I Basically, I need to do six more before the end. And then um, I already got my dark birdie if you watched last you know, last video, um, I was pretty fortunate to, to actually be able to get a dark birdie. Um, originally I wanted three, but I don't think that's possible now. I have 32 eggs here, but I do have two light dark eggs. So I think these, these will be pretty good. Um, and I think this will be, be enough for me to finish my rebirth. And hopefully at the very end, I will be able to get one last dark birdie. You never know. So yeah, I want to also use this time to just basically talk about the, um, you know, I guess future predictions, what I think might happen in the future. Um, you know, like, they haven't announced a new Rebirth monster for ne next month, and Rebirth is literally ending in 16 hours. So a lot of people are speculating that it's probably going to be a monster that's already on the list. Since they didn't announce anything new, they didn't make any new updates for a new monster. Because usually when there's, um, when the month is ending, um... A week before the month ends or at least I think the, th the Wednesday before the month ends they usually have a new patch like basically some new patch notes um, some new things that are going to be added to the game if they're making an, if they're planning to make an update if not then usually um, they add a monster that has already like has already been on um, like hard, has already been added to the game but isn't available yet so a lot of people are speculating that it's it's probably going to be the light dark yetis because the Yetis were added to the game a while ago, and they're basically Nat 3 monsters with uh, Nat 4 Light Dark counterparts, so they basically fit the mold. Um, and maybe maybe 433 was planning on or um, on making them the new Rebirth monster this month. Maybe they planned this. I, I don't know if they have like these plans written down or like at least planned out like months ahead. But I guess if you're like de developing a game with like um, a lot of people playing, then I guess you kind of have to do that. So maybe all their plans, everything they're planning to do has already been, I guess, in the works for many, many months. And they they have like everything kind of sorted out. And then when they add, have new ideas, they kind of just add that in between. I'm not too sure. I never, I never been at a game development company, but I, I I think that's what happens, right? You make some plans first, and then, you know, like, for, like, four or five months ahead, or maybe even, like, half a year ahead, and then you kind of just, like, because every, they know, like, every month you have to have a rebirth monster, and then every month you also, like, every three, uh, every month and a half, basically, you will also need to have a new hero's rebirth monster, and then they also need to have new events, I think events happen every month. I can't re remember exactly. I think there are some months where they don't have a lot of like big events. They might have some like very very small monsters. That, like, um, for example, they they have these events before where where you where they annou announce a new continent and you were able to catch the uh, the yetis on any map. They basically just came out as like bonus monsters that you can catch. And now they're not like super rare monsters because you can get the yetis in the new new continent. But, uh, you know, but you can, you know, you can get them beforehand in that event and you can get much, much more of them. Holy shit, this dude, the banging is next level. All right, I'm back. The, the sawing stopped, but the banging is still going. Um, I've been meaning to eventually move, to eventually move. I still, I still haven't moved yet. I'm still in the same place. You know, the, the place with the... The place with a no water shower, the rusty bathroom, and the rats. But it, it's fine. I have I, I I have a plan. I have a I have a plan under works. We're gonna finish these summonings, um, finish the rebirths, and I'm also gonna be taking a look at the 
I guess potential monsters that can be on the rebirth list, like uh, the Yetis and the... I think another potential monster could be the Sasquatch, because the Sasquatch is also another monster that was um, given to us for free. But I kind of feel like the Sasquatch could, might be a little bit too OP for people to have multiple versions of, because I think the light one has like Courageous Strike, so it's like extremely OP. People could, could stack that and make like a super strong Titans team. I think the house is crumbling. But anyways, let's uh... Hopefully, you know, I haven't gotten a lightning and a light dark eight in a very long time. Maybe I'll be able to get something. Oh man. It's, 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 it's like this every day, so I, I thought I might as well, you know, just, just, uh, just push through it. We're almost there. You know, I've gotten so good that like, you know, cause sometimes my sleep gets like really, really fucked up. And I've gotten so good that like, I can like through like the banging and sawing, I could sleep. Like I can sleep like a baby. <laughs> I've gotten, I've, I've gotten, uh, I've leveled up. Like my resilience is just that high now. Ooh, I, I got a Cura. We did get quite a few lightnings, I think. Um, in these these few summonings i'm gonna hash these light dark eggs hopefully something good comes out we'll, we'll also summon the gin see if it can give me a variant gin i've always wanted a better variant gin you know i i, I kind of hate how they added these like pen pens into the eggs it was better before with just the colts because at least the colts were were a little bit better oh man my inventory was full all right let's uh Let's do some rebirthing. We only ha have a few more before we reach the 30. And hopefully that guaranteed one that comes out is a is a dark birdie. So I can have like at least two dark birdies. Oh shit, I'm out of gold. Don't worry. I got a I got I got a solution to that. You know you know what we can do now? Now you guys might not know that you can do this. Actually, everybody knows you can do this, but you can actually go and you can grab these like materials that you get and like the mid or uh, actually the low ones still sell for a bit like they sell for like a hundred. But if you want like quick money, you just go to the mid ones and then you just like you just sell some of these. I think re I think summoning costs like 50k so like this is enough to do a summon and I have like 2000 of these. So if I sell like one or 200, it, it doesn't really matter that much. You just you just sell a few of them, and then it's just some it's just some quick money that you can get. And normally, I don't think, like I think by the by the time that I will need like I run out of these materials, I probably already would have like farmed farmed it back because you know it, it, there's a 24 hour cooldown on the uh, the crafting, and then you you have to like. You know, you have to farm these materials. So, like during the 24 hours, you can, if you're constantly farming story, um, you will be able to, you'll be able to grab them. So, like, it's not, it's not too hard. Um, some materials are a little bit harder to farm because you have to farm, farm them on certain maps, especially on the last continent. I, I don't have a fast team for farming that continent, so I basically just go in sometimes to, to farm the materials, and that's it. Um, sometimes I would like pause my, my guys and uh in like sky falls or something to try to get the sky falls material and also for the like the the really high level material you have to farm the boss stages so sometimes i farm the boss stages for those all right maybe maybe that was good luck like selling materials maybe this is a new ritual i get a nat 5 right here nope uh not happening it's another pen pen yeah all right, but I will I will have enough. I have enough monsters in order to um, to feed into this this rebirth. So I'm just gonna throw them all in, and hope uh, hope my last one is a dark birdie because I I really do want to raise multiple. Maybe I'll be lucky enough. Maybe I'll save the birdies first. I'll feed them last if I have nothing else to feed. I can feed the pen pens too because I don't I don't need the pen pens either. I've already raised one to evil three, and I'm not um, not planning to raise any more. So we don't, we don't really need the pen pens either. 
Maybe, oh, maybe if I feed dark monsters in, it'll give me the dark birdie. How, how, how about that? Yes? No, not happening. All right. W was worth a try, you know? It was, uh, it's definitely worth a try. Um... All right, we got a few more before the guaranteed one. And we'll probably just stop there once I once I reach reach that point. All right, last one, last one. Let's uh let's do an all water. Maybe it'll give me give me something good. Okay. The guaranteed egg. Here we go. Please, please. Uh, this this month's rebirth is so hard. It takes 30, and you only get a 1 in 4 chance to get the one you want. And there's only one I really need. Yes! Oh, yes. Yes, there we go. I got a second Dark Birdie now. And this one has Square. Nice, nice. Oh, man, that was that was amazing. All right. Well, this, this month was pretty good. I, I got all the Dark Bird. Well, I didn't get all the Dark Birdies. I, I originally wanted three. I mean, I guess if I run out of inventory space, I can feed a few more in. Um, but it probably won't get to that point. I'll, I'll probably just raise the two Dark Birdies and use them for um, Clan PvP. I was originally planning on, on getting three. Now, I would summon this Jin, but I guess I can summon this Jin. I just have to, I just have to go into here and then sell like another hundred of these. Oh wait, no, I have to sell 200 of these. Man, this is so difficult. I wish you could... There, there needs to be a plus 10 option. Or there needs to be a plus 100 option. This is... This is insane. People are like, hey, it's easy money. You know, these things used to sell for 5,000 each when they first came out, but it, was, it only lasted a day. So I guess you could have made a little bit of profit if you were selling it on the first day. But it's like, over the long run, it doesn't matter that much. Because, like, gold in this game gets spent pretty fast. Like, you just, like, I spend them, I spend it pretty randomly. It hasn't really affected me too much. Um, like, you know, you know that Light Radis team I built last time? It took, it cost me about, I think it cost me about, like, 12 million, million gold to raise that team. All right, it's just another random fire water gin, no variant. Um, I think I only need, I only need a few more gins. Oh wait, I have one, two here. Well, I was thinking maybe feed this one away first. I don't really need it, and then I can um, eventually get another fire gin later. Or I keep that one because that one has pretty good slots. It doesn't have the perfect slots, but it has like pretty decent slots. I could keep that one. And then like next week when I get another gin, I uh I make this gin evil three. And then I'll have like two evil three fire gins. And I can farm a lot faster. Um or a lot more efficiently. But yeah I do have two dark birdies this this month. I got a whole bunch of light light birdies. I got a whole bunch of light mihos. I don't know why they kept giving me light mihos but it's uh it's not too bad. Um, now the last thing I want to do is look at the potential monsters that might be for next month's rebirth or, you know, literally in 16 hours, uh, for me. And that is, obviously they could repeat a past monster, um, but they haven't done that in a long time. They haven't repeated past rebirth and usually when they repeat past rebirth, they include them into the list, but, um, it's usually alongside a new rebirth monster. They, they like to do that a lot. They, there hasn't been an exception. But I guess if they really don't have any new content or new monsters to, to use for rebirth, um, they can do something like that. So usually rebirth monsters are four star monsters with three star counterparts. Um, and there's like a few monsters that haven't been released yet. I guess there's only two. There's only the, the Yetis and the, uh, the Sasquatch. Now, I feel like the Sasquatch might be a little bit too OP, because if they release this Sasquatch as the Rebirth monster, um, this is, like, extremely strong. Just having Courageous Strike as a light monster, um, just, like, it, it just, it's so broken. If you can keep Rebirthing and have, like, six of these, 
it'll just make your Titan teams like extremely OP. Um, and it even has attack down as a second skill, so it's like it's it's really really good for for Titans. Um, and but for the Yetis, I think the Yetis. Where are the Yetis? The Yetis are also pretty good for PvP. Uh, they have really good stats. If you look at her HP and defense, she's a defender type. It would have been better if she was HP type, but she has very low recovery. And she also has 2,400 base attack, which is, like, pretty decent. It's not the best, but it's it's actually pretty decent. Um, and then it's morale boost and shock. So, like, you can, you can do some crazy shit. Like, if you have some, like, really good pugilist gems, you just put them on her. Run, like, four light yetis. And then you'll have, like, a winning defense. Um... As for the dark versions, it's either... I think those are the only two monsters that they released, um, but you are still unattainable. Like, light dark monsters that have, like, three-star counterparts. The dark Sasquatch has Vengeance and Adrenaline. Um, wait, what the fuck? Restore 10%. So he only heals himself? That's kind of shitty. I guess, like, if they release the Sasquatch, the light one's really strong. If they release the Yetis, the light one's also pretty good. Um, the dark one, Stun and Seal is kind of, uh... It's not bad, but it's just... It's, it's not good either. They could bring back, back past Rebirth monsters as well, you know? Like... I think bringing back July would, would help the new players a lot, because she's a passive healer. But they just had the Dark Jack, so, like... Probably a lot of new players that started playing probably already has the Dark Jack, and and that's that's probably a better healer for uh, for Golden Speed 10. So you don't really need this monster um, if they do release it. Victorias, they could always bring these back um, as a rebirth. We just ended with the Mihos. We also have the Monas. Like everyone, everyone's waiting for the Dark Monas to come back. I'm waiting for the Dark Monas to come back. I feel like they're never gonna bring them back because of how OP she is. She's just like. She's extremely broken. Um, they might bring back the Medusas. The Medusas are not too bad. The light one's pretty good for uh, Dragon Speed 10. I used to use her, but now I use the Spark It. And the Dark One's actually a really good Titan spawn with blind and attack down. Like, you just can't go wrong with these. And she's also quite tanky, so it's it's pretty good. Um, there's the Monkey Keys, the Coco. The Cocos are pretty recent. I don't think they're going to bring bring these back. Same with the Fibians. The Monkeys have, have been gone for a long time. They could bring these back. These are decent for clan battles um i would actually raise them but it's just that their second skill is only single target so it's not actually too good for it's not that good for pvp um the last were pretty recent birdies just ended so you know unless unless there's an emer emergency update tonight where they like just update and like throw in a new monster which which they probably won't it it's probably just gonna be like the yetis a lot of people are thinking it's the yetis I feel like the light Sasquatch is too OP. Like, if they bring this back as a rebirth mon, and there's no other monster on the rebirth list, and you get, like, seven or eight of these, this is just, like, it, it'll just... Your, your Titans team will just be so broken, because you can just run these on every single team, because they're light, so they have... They don't have, like, element disadvantage, and you just gem them up with your... With, like, really good gems, and all of a sudden you have, like, you know, seven Courageous Strike mons that you can run for any Titans team. Um... Yeah, but that would, that would be pretty OP. These ones, I think you can run multiples of for uh, PvP defense. I'm hoping they bring the Nifas as an event. I don't know how these monsters aren't released yet, but I I really want a variant light Nifa. Just look at this color. It looks so amazing. It's got amazing skills as well. Double Hunter, create, or, uh, double hunter and, uh, and crit lead. It's, a, it's an amazing monster. But anyways, that's pretty much it. Um, that is the end of this month's Rebirth. I'll see you guys on the other side. I'll see you guys on the next month of Rebirth. And hopefully it's something good. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And sorry about the... Uh, sorry about the bit of unprofessionalism. Like there was a little bit of noise in the background. It's kind of gone now, but it, it kind of just goes on and off. But hopefully it was still enjoyable to watch me do a bit of summons, do a bit of Rebirth, and finally... You know, also got that dark birdie at the very, very end. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.